Good day and God bless. Welcome to our time of devotion and prayer. Let us pray. Thank you for grace, O Lord, that allows us to have some time with your word and time with one another. And Lord, help us to be the, the blessing you call us to be in the lives of our, our family and our friends and our community and all that we will come to, to meet and serve and encounter. We pray with grace, Lord. Help us to be aware of the needs of others. And Lord, there are so many needs that surround us right now. People that are struggling to get by day to day. People that are looking for ways to make the ends meet. And it's not always easy. And Lord, sometimes it seems impossible. Lord, when we ourselves cannot find our own way, Lord, help us to accept help, to together discover your way for us. Lord, help us to journey with others in encouraging their life of faith, whether they're near or far. Lord, by these means, we are able to touch, people, to touch people's lives with your word and your truth, not only in our immediate vicinity, not, e not only those that will come and gather with us, but Lord, people on the other side of the world, people in, in other cultures, Lord, help us not to treat them as them. So often we, we categorize each other as them and us. But you call us all to be a very powerful, wonderful us through your Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. It's in his name we come. It's for glory in his name that we, we, we pray before you now that we turn to your word and that we seek to set this day in perspective that is your will and way. Lord, guide us in that way. We pray in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. And turning today to the prophet Jeremiah, Jeremiah reading chapter 30 at verse 6. Ask ye now and see whether a man doth travail with child. Wherefore do I see every man with his hands on his loins as a woman in travail and all faces are turned into paleness. When we're trying to bring something about, when we're trying to get through a difficult time, we have to anticipate the end result of that as something which transcends and takes us beyond fear. We are meant to, to work through the difficulties of day-to-day -day life, not <clears throat> to prove how tough we are or smart we are, but to show how good God is. But too often we make it all about us, but what we're going to get out of it. So I like the comparison that Jeremiah is making here, speaking to God's people who are afraid, who are trying to get through an impossibly difficult time, who are absolutely certain of their complete destruction, because that's what these nations have done to everybody else. And God is saying, I'm going to get you through this. Through his prophet, God is saying, not only are, are you going to get through this, if you ex accept me, if you follow me, you will get through this, but the end result will be something greater than you could have imagined. That's the view we need to have of parenting. That's the, need we, that's the view we need to have about evangelism. That though it's difficult, though it's impossible, though it seems like every church in the world is getting ready to close, like it seems like everybody is becoming anti-religious and there is no future in believing in God. I mean, that's what the world would have you believe. The real end result is that God's going to see us through this, see us through to a better day, see us through... And allow us to be that fostering of goodness in a future generation, in a future imagining, in what God really has planned for God's people. So be encouraged. And don't give up hope. God has a plan. And we are called to be a part of it. God bless and keep you. Amen.